Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day you have given us today. We are going to read your heavenly words. Be with us and guide us from the beginning till the end. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Now let us read 1 Kings chapter 19. And Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done and how he had slain all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger unto Elijah, saying, So let the gods do to me, and more also, if I make not thy life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. And when he saw that, he arose and went for his life and came to Beersheba, which belonged to Judah, and left his servants there. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a juniper tree and he requested for himself that he might die and said, It is enough. Now, O Lord, take away my life, for I am not better than my father's. And as he lay and slept under a juniper tree, behold, an angel touched him and said unto him, Arise and eat. And he looked and behold, there was a cake baked on the coals and a cruise of water at his head, and he did eat and drink and lay down again. And the angel of the Lord came again the second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat. Behold, the journey is too far for thee. And he arose and did eat and drink and went in the strength of that food forty days and forty nights unto Horeb, the mount of God. And he came there unto a cave and lodged there. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him, and he said unto him, What doest thou, your Elijah? And he said, I have been very jealous for the Lord God of hosts, for the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thine altars, and slain thy prophets with the sword. And I, even I only am left, and they seek my life to take it away. And he said, Go forth and stand upon the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by, and a great and a strong wind rent the mountains and broke in pieces the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind, and after the wind an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake, and after the earthquake a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire a still small voice and it was so, when Elijah heard it, that he wrapped his face in his mantle, and went out, and stood in the entrance of the cave. And behold, there came a voice unto him, and said, What doest thou, your Elijah? And he said, I have been very jealous for the Lord God of hosts, because the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thine altars, and slain thy prophets with the sword, and I, even I only, am left, and they seek my life to take it away. And the Lord said unto him, Go, return on thy way to the wilderness of Damascus, and when thou comest, anoint Azahel as to be the king over Syria, and Jehu, the son of Nimshi, shall thou anoint to be the king over Israel, and Elisha, the son of Shaphat, of Abimeholah, shall thou anoint to be the prophet of thy stead. And it shall come to pass that him that escaped the sword of Asahel shall Jehu slay, and him that escaped from the sword of Jehu shall Elisha slay. Yet I have left me seven thousand in Israel, all the knees which have not bowed unto Baal, and every mouth which hath not kissed him. So he departed from there and found Elijah the son of Shaphat, who was prowling with twelve yoke of oxen before him. And he with the twelve and Elijah passed by him and cast his mantle upon him. And he left the oxen and ran after Elijah and said, Let me, I pray thee, kiss my father and my mother, and then I will follow thee. And he said unto him, Go back again, for what have I done to thee? And he returned back from him and took a yoke of oxen and slew them and boiled their flesh with the instruments of oxen and gave unto the people and they, and they did heed. Then he arose and went after Elijah and ministered unto him. Amen. Now let us read Oshia chapter 1. The word of the Lord that came unto Oshia, the son of Biri, in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Ezekiah, 
kings of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, the son of Joash, king of Israel. The beginning of the word of the Lord by Oshia, and the Lord said to Oshia, Go, take unto thee a wife of harlotry, and children of harlotry, for the land hath committed great harlotry departing from the Lord. And he went and took Gomer, the daughter of Diblade, who conceived and bore Imo's son. And the Lord said unto him, Call his name Jezreel for yet a little while, and I will avenge the blood of Jezreel upon the house of Jehu, and will cause to seize the kingdom of the house of Israel. And it shall come to pass at that day that I will break the bow of Israel in the valley of Jezreel. And she conceived again, and bore a daughter, and God said unto him, Call her name Loruhama, for I will no more have mercy upon the house of Israel, but I will utterly take them away. But I will have mercy upon the house of Judah, and will save them by the Lord their God, and will not save them by bow, nor by sword, nor by battle, by horses, or by horsemen. Now when she had weaned Loruhama, she conceived and bore a son. Then said God, Call his name Loami, for ye are not my people, and I will not be your God. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be like the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, they there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living God. Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head, and they shall come up out of the land, for great shall be the day of Jezreel. Amen. Now let us read Matthew chapter 14 verses 22 to 34. And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a boat and to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain privately to pray, and when the evening was come, he was there alone. And the boat was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a ghost, and they cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spoke unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come into thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand, and caught him, and said unto him, O thou of little faith, why didst thou doubt? And when they were come into the boat, the wind ceased. Then they that were in the boat came and worshipped him, saying, Of a truth, thou art the Son of God. And when they were gone over, they came into the land of Genesaret. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for helping us to read your heavenly verse and thank you for making us to understand the verse which we have read and make it a blessing for the people who are going to hear it. Be with us and guide us. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. God bless you. <laughs>